this video, we will discuss the different types of data that we can open with Erdas Imagine. So let's click on File. Then click on Open. And we will see a list of data layers that we can open with Erdas Imagine. So the first one is a raster layer. And we use that to open images made up of an array of pixels and the extension of that is .img. The second is vector layer, and that is used to open vector files like arc coverage layer or shape files, which is basically made up of points, lines, or polygons rather than pixels like raster layer. Point cloud layer. And that is a file with an extension .las as a result of aerial laser photography, also called LIDAR. Annotation layer, the file with extension .ovr, which we will discuss later, is actually similar to vector layer but with less options. It is also made up of points, lines, and polygons, and we will draw it ourselves using Erdas Imagine. The three-layer arrangement and multi-layer arrangement, these two options let us open multi-spectral images or images that consist of more than one image or layer captured for the same place at the same time. While each layer was captured with cameras, each from a different frequency band, this way we can open each band in a different viewer. Now let's practice on some of these layers we explained. We will start by opening multiple viewers from home, click on add views, and then click on display four views. Select one of the viewers by clicking on it. Now click on file, click on open, raster layer, and choose the image 23.img and click OK. You will see that the image is opened in the viewer we selected. Now let's select another viewer to open a different layer. Again, let's click on File, Open, and then click on Vector Layer. Click on Zonal Change. Now as you see, the program will only show you data of the same layer we choose to open. Now choose the Villages Parcels subset dot shp and click OK. Select one of the two remaining viewers and click on File. Click on Open and this time let's click on Annotation Layer. Again, you will see only files with the extension dot ovr. Now choose the file ycbl dot ovr and click OK. Finally, we will open a multispectral image. So first close all the other viewers and notice that the next image will open each band separately. Click on File, Open, Multilayer Arrangement. Select the image linear.img and click on OK. Notice that the image consists of seven bands. Each band is now open in a separate viewer. For example, this is layer number one, and this is layer number four, and so on. In this viewer, the image appears using three bands, which are two, three, and four. There are several benefits from this viewer, like the ease of image interpretation and showing certain indications clearly. For example, in band 4, we can clearly see the water, while we can't see it in band number 1. Now we will practice closing images from the viewer. So let's right click on the viewer, and from this menu, click on clear view, and on this layer, 
right click and then click on close top layer to close the layer showing on top and this view only contained one layer so the command close top layer closed it and the viewer is now empty now if the viewer contains several images then this command would only close the top image so we have seen some of the layers that we can open using Erdas Imagine and that concludes this video thank you for listening